Hey everybody, thank you for coming to our channel to watch a video. Uh, if you've not been here before, we normally film kind of day in the life videos or show you kind of the things that we get up to, like theatre trips or holidays or days out and stuff. And you'll also see a bit of a Ziggy, our little cockapoo here. But um, today I wanted to do a quick different video. Um, and it's a video that I chickened out making a little while ago. But today I figured, why not? I mean, it's scary, isn't it? This video is going to be up on YouTube forever, I guess. Once it's up, it's up. But I kind of think we need to talk about it more. We talk about mental health a lot on this channel uh, because of M's anxiety and depression and different things like that. But I think generally, people as a human race, we just are embarrassed to talk about our bodies and different things perhaps if something goes wrong or something's a bit odd we we get embarrassed and we're scared and we're too scared to go to the doctor so my story is that a couple of well ages ago now i started seeing a bit of blood come out when i went to the toilet to do you know a number two do a poo so after putting it off for a couple of days thinking it will pass and just seeing what would happen Eventually, I had to get the courage to go to the doctor because that's not normal. And of course, my doctor trip involved an uncomfortable five minutes, to, to put it lightly. But ultimately, it was five minutes of my life. Even less than that. The, I mean, the actual examination that he did was literally less than a minute. But that five minutes in the doctor's surgery not counting the waiting times in the waiting room, of course. That five minutes with him in the room was the thing that was needed to be done, firstly, to see if it was anything serious. And if it was something serious, that's where I could have got help. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious, but because of that, that trip to the doctor, I was able to have peace of mind. Now, more recently, um, I was doing my regular sort of man check. It needs to be done, right? We need to make sure our bodies are fine. So I was doing that and I felt a lump. So after a couple of weeks of putting it off, I kind of monitored it for a little bit, but eventually it comes to the point where because it's something we can't see, because it's something we can't solve ourselves, I need to go to the doctor. And of course that's scary, that's embarrassing, that's awkward. But I went and thankfully there's nothing wrong and that, you know, it's um, all sorted. I've got that peace of mind. But again, if it was something, you know, catching something early is the best way of making sure that we get cured in the long term. I was looking up some facts on a website called itsinthebag.org.uk they were saying that testicular cancer is the most common cancer in men aged 15 to 49 but 98% of diagnosed cases are cured 98% are cured because people detect it early enough 98% is a pretty good rate We've got to make sure we educate ourselves, know the symptoms. We've got to make sure that we check ourselves regularly. And if something is odd, we've got to go to the doctor. Should also just say, really, that often with any illness, what we suspect it might be um, is only one thing that it possibly could be. So if there's something wrong with my arm, for example, OK, the worst is that it's probably broken. But then actually it could be a sprain or it could be an infection or a bruise. So it's the same with anything really, um, including um, more private areas of our body. You don't have to think the worst if something is feeling odd with your body. But it's important that we do something about it. Because thankfully for me this time, nothing's wrong. But I want to make sure that I'm in the habit of when there is something wrong, I don't just put it off because I'm embarrassed or it's going to be awkward for a couple of minutes in a doctor's surgery, I want to go and make sure that I give myself the best chance to live a long and happy life with the people that I love and do the things that I'm passionate about and treat my life 
and my body as a gift. So anyway, I know that we're a small YouTube channel and you know, we don't get many views and all that sort of stuff really compared to all the people that could put something out. But I thought, you know what? We share life with you and I know this video is gonna be up for ages, but even if it just starts a bit of a conversation at home with someone or it encourages you to check your body or go to the doctor if something is just a bit different, then good, good, because you know what, that's worth it. We're doing great as a society, talking about mental health more, talking about disabilities, but those bits of our bodies that we still kind of keep private, secret, even sacred, we've got to make sure we talk about it and we've got to make sure that we educate ourselves, check and go to the doctor. Anyway, what I'll do is put some websites below for different things, <laughs> different body parts. Um, <clears throat> so maybe you can use those to click on and educate or see what we can do um, to raise awareness or fundraise for these charities that are doing some great work. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's a bit of a weird one, but you know what? I thought I'd share and if it helps someone, great. If it doesn't, well, at least, at least maybe my little videos made it less awkward to talk about. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Bye.